as i told you we have five major categories of soils i have taken all the five major categories let us see here alluvial soil black soil red and yellow soil laterite soil and the arid soil or the desert soil let us go on one by one starting from the left let us see here the arid soil the arid soil is a soil which the color of the soil as i told you before color nature texture physical chemical composition these all are the basis to divide a soil so basing on the color the arid soil or the desert soil has red to brown shade it is not a completely red it's not completely brown it is a mixture of red to brown shade then we have the nature of the soil is sandy it's very very sandy and it has more saline content how water will get saline content when the water mixed with the other salts water is getting evaporated salts are remaining in the land only then that nature will come that results in the high common salt in this particular desert lands in deserts generally you find high common salt affected places then it lacks the basic humus because bacteria cannot survive in this high temperature regions then it also lacks moisture that's why we can't do cultivation in the desert lands very difficult then because of the calcium content more in the soil conquer it results in the problematic situations but with the proper irrigation treatment if we can provide proper irrigation methods how they are doing in rajasthan especially in the western part of rajasthan where we have desert small desert tar desert in 2 lakh square kilometers that desert land can be very well utilized not completely the desert the areas around that are called as arid lands the desert inside land will not be called as an arid land don't get confused here the lands which are very adjacent to the desert lands are called arid lands or semi arid lands this lands can be brought into cultivatable lands by providing proper irrigational methods to that one giving a proper treatment to the soil by adding certain chemicals which are reactive to the existing chemicals there and turning them by regular supply of water you can bring that one into regular cultivatable land that are the features of arid soils moving on to alluvial soils alluvial soils are very widely spread where north india in the northern plain in the entire northern plain indian northern plain and the himalayan rivers the himalayan rivers are ganga indus and brahmaputra where they have brought the entire deposits and made this place very very fertile place the soils what we got from there and also the eastern coastal plains mahanandi and kaveri also contributed there that's how some part of the alluvial soil is also found in the eastern corner or eastern coastal plain of india then what is the nature of the soil it is sandy silt and clay it is a combination of sandy nature silt nature and clay nature combination nature then we also find that from the top of the hill mountains when any water flow is happening in the middle you have a breaks in this break regions known as pediment soils or pediment rocks where in the middle of that you find the soil or the mud known as dewars coarse or terai the middle regions and it is also known as in the alluvial we have again different categorization older alluvial new alluvial older alluvial is known as bangar new alluvial is known as khadar in the older alluvial you have more content of kankar which is not good when it come to khadar khadar is more fertile than bangar it gives more production output and also it has the chemicals like potassium phosphoric dry alcohol products and this are more useful for production for agriculture alluvial soils are the best soils for doing agriculture if we can do properly let us go a quick recap here arid soils are red to brown alluvial soils are bit not completely red not completely brown in the middle texture sandy and saline they are extend in the entire northern plain high common salts no common salts 
they are not brought by any rivers they are brought by himalayan rivers they do not they lack humus and moisture they do not lack the humus and moisture they have high content of canker they also have the canker it can be used for irrigation with careful proper methods it can be used because they naturally have all the important chemicals which are used for agriculture and cultivation now moving on to the other category of soil black soil black soil is also known as rigor soil and the soil color i think by the name itself you can understand it is a black soil it's a black black rigor soil it is used more for cultivation of the cotton cotton soil also is famous that is nothing but black soil you you get a general blank asking in the examination saying that which soil is good for cotton black rigor soils are also good for dash cotton rigor soils are also known as dash cotton or cotton soil or red soil sorry black soil then this is found in the northwestern part of deccan covering the states like madhya pradesh gujarat maharashtra and chatisgarh where the rivers have contributed for this one are krishna godavari valley regions in this regions you find it more it holds more amount of moisture and it also contains the chemicals like calcium carbonate magnesium potassium and lime where it is very sticky in nature once it gets wet immediately you need to start to do the cultivation and process and everything once it gets wet it becomes very very sticky where it is not easy for you to do cultivation that is a special feature of black soils it's a very very fertile soil actually it is also known as rigor cotton soil moving on to the red and yellow soil red soil or yellow soil what is this red and yellow soil we'll understand that one it is found mostly filled with the crystalline igneous things or the rocks it is found in the region of southern part of deccan in the states like orissa chatisgarh then southern parts of the ganga plain it is reddish when it is in its nature when it is being hydrated when hydrogen gets added when water gets added for this one it turns into yellowish nature that is the reason why it is called as red yellow soil it is also very useful for agriculture it is found in more parts of so uh, central and southern parts of india central part mainly we find this kind of soil moving on to the laterite soil laterite soil is occurred from the greek word called later meaning brick it is derived from the greek word called later meaning brick it is having very very high temperatures and heavy rains because of high temperatures the humus bacteria cannot survive here it is being died the humus content is very low because of this uh, high temperatures bacteria cannot survive here and the country or the states where we found this kind of uh, soil is in karnataka kerala tamil nadu madhya pradesh and assam regions but through using proper soil conservation methods we can use this soil for cultivation of tea and cultivation of cashew nuts so the states which are following the proper soil conservation methods and utilizing the land for this tea and cashew nuts are karnataka kerala tamil nadu and even andhra pradesh so that we have the different categories of soils the five major categories of soils are arid alluvial black red and yellow laterite they all have different different colors different different textures different different chemicals available and they are found in different different parts of the country but all together these all come under the category of soil as a resource now we shall further discuss about what is soil con explosion or erosion and soil conservation methods if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus